What's up everyone, welcome back. Gather around, class is in session. Today we are going to be pulling out our smocks and our paintbrushes and channeling our inner Bob Ross. You ready to have some fun? Let's do it. For our canvas today, we have this lovely, beautiful silver OEM brake caliper. Because nothing says, oh look, a car guy, like painted brake calipers. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Now I know what you're thinking. You're thinking I'm gonna sit here and tell you that I went out to the auto parts store and picked up five cans of rattle paint and sheets to cover the entire car because we're gonna be spray painting the entire thing. Well, I'm sorry to tell you, you'd be wrong. Today we are going to be using this beautiful kit right here. Now what we have here is the G2 brake caliper paint kit. Now apparently this has been around for quite a long time. I never came across this when I started painting calipers on a bunch of my other cars because this kit comes with everything you're going to need to prep paint and make your calipers look great the only thing the kit does not come with is masking tape so you're gonna have to get you some masking tape so the kit itself actually comes with some brake cleaner so you're not gonna need to go out and buy any brake cleaner um, it comes with your paint of choice a reactor which I guess or from what I've read is you pour that into the paint gives it like it's bright color shiny color I'm not sure I didn't do very well in science so I don't know the bond that it does but just know that it comes with these two things okay it comes with a paintbrush and a mixer so with all that said since we got our painting hat we got our paintbrush it's time to get our Bob Ross on Okay guys, so first things first, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the provided brake cleaner that the kit came with, and we're gonna start spraying off these brake calipers. Now this car is only four months old, so they're still practically brand new. There's not too much on them. But if yours is a little older, you might wanna take a wire brush and start scrubbing it out a little bit more in like the deeper areas. So what you're gonna do is just take up a little rag or a little, shop towel and just clean off some excess. Also, I'd recommend having a pig blanket down here to catch all that grease and nasty stuff coming off the brake calipers, just to keep your floor nice and clean. So with the brake caliper nice and clean, what we're gonna do is take our masking tape and mask off everything that we don't want to get painted. That being just like the bleeder screw, some of the rubber joints, brake pad hardware, stuff like that. All right, guys, I'm so sorry. I was sitting here explaining all this stuff and I realized the camera wasn't recording. You stupid. So what I went ahead and did, I cracked open the paint. I finished masking up everything that needed to be masked up. I opened up the paint, I poured in the reactor, then I stirred it. Right now we're just letting it sit for five minutes and the instructions say to let it sit for five minutes and then go back and stir it again. While we let that sit, the color I chose was this beautiful Ford Grabber Blue. If I were to ever wrap this car, it would be in that Ford Grabber Blue because that blue looks so beautiful on the Focus ST or the, on the Focus RS. Man. It's... All right, guys. So it's been about five minutes. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and, as the instructions say, mix it in again. Now, this kit actually says that you can do just two coats. I'm probably going to do more than that just because I don't want to waste you know, just a bunch of paint just sitting around. So I might do three, maybe even four. So let's go ahead and get started with the first coat. Take your time and, and sit down. Have nothing in mind when you start. Just have a good feeling and be happy and, and in love with life and your world and, and sit down and begin playing. All right, guys, and that is coat one done now we're gonna wait about 15 or so minutes all right guys so it's been about 15 minutes I did the other three calipers and we're ready for coat numero dos and I still have a good amount of paint left I know you probably can't see it but I still have a good amount of paint left if you really wanted to you could probably do about three four coats maybe even five but we're gonna go ahead and go on to uh, number two and then we'll just go from there and see if we need any more coats and there we have it guys as you can see it looks beautiful i did about three coats i still have enough left over to do maybe even six coats there's a lot but i did about three that's what the instructions kind of say the instructions actually said two coats but it said you have enough paint to do a third coat so they stand by a good two coats but i did three uh, for my own peace of mind and yeah it came out fantastic it looks great i'm excited to put the wheels on now the instructions say we have to let it cure for about two hours before we put the wheels back on and 24 hours for the paint to fully cure before driving. And yeah, that's about it, guys. I just wanted to show you guys how to paint your calipers simple and easy with this kit. And it's a good way to spice up your car. So with that said, guys, we'll see you in the next Mazda video. Peace.